Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft Remastered. Well, last time we learned that Tassadar and Raynor are actually on the same team, and I think we sided with Tassadar and we brought him and Raynor to the beacon, so I don't exactly know what's going on, but something, a lot, it's something doesn't add up, so let's see what we get to do today. Choosing sides. Well, I know I... Well, I have an idea what we might be doing, but let's check it out. So this is an hour after we saved Tassadar and Raynor. Executor, by following Tassadar and attempting to rescue the Dark Templar, you have openly defied the will of the Conclave. Abandon this mad scheme now, and the Conclave may show you mercy. Don't let him control you, Executor. The Judicator have long since steered the actions of the Templar to their own ends. It's time we acted of our own accord. Ah, Tassadar, have you fallen so far? To think that you were our brightest hope, our most beloved son. Now you are everything that we are not. You are lost to us. Not only have you damned yourself, but you have damned those who have followed you. Such is the price for our race's salvation, Judicator. I have been here with the Dark Templar these last few months. While I helped them in their fight against the Zerg, I learned many of their secrets from the Prelate, Zeratul. Apparently, the energies which empower the Dark Templar also course through the Overmind and its Cerebrates. The same Cerebrates which you told us to destroy. Your advice was useless. For the creature was reincarnated before our eyes. Unfortunately, yes. Your attack on the Cerebrate failed because the energies that you wield are useless when used directly against the Overmind and its Cerebrates. Only the Dark Templar's power can truly harm the Zerg. That is why we must rescue Zeratul and return him to Ire. You were warned, Executor. The Conclave will not be pleased. Okay, I guess we're siding with Tassadar. We don't really get a choice. So we don't actually choosing sides, the game is choosing for us. But trust me, this is gonna work out much better in the end. Let's go. Ah, but we can bring the Templars together and create an Archon, which actually can be very helpful, but we're not gonna do that today. But okay, let's get going. Now, there's actually a way to win this mission in like two minutes. Uh, really less than that, like I've seen the world record of this, it's like at 37 seconds or something like that. But I'm not too good at that, so I'm actually not gonna do that. I might do a bonus episode. I, I spent like, uh, you know, I spent a, a long time trying to get that all squared away, but I tried a bunch of times and I just couldn't do it. So I'm not gonna even worry about it. I'm just gonna show you the regular way to do this and to get this, you know, to get this taken care of. So, okay, but we have a new unit that we get to get ha use, the shuttle. And the shuttle is basically like a drop ship for uh, the Terran. You know, you can transport units and all that good stuff. So it's, you know, it's basically your transport unit. So, and that's where the gas is. So we'll be using that in a minute now. What, what we wanna do is we wanna establish our base right here. I want to get a little bit of a, a uh, some defenses set up. There's actually another base we can take right up here. Do it. I actually ended up spending more time. Uh, I ended up spending more time. Do I have a forge yet? No, I don't. Uh, trying to attempt to do this mission in a short amount of time than I did actually doing the mission itself, so there's that. Okay, so we should have this probe come out here in a second, and I believe I don't have a forge yet. Is that correct? Yeah, because I can't build cannons. I mean, definitely want to have a forge. So, let's BF, build a forge. Now let's get it back to work then. Uh, by the way, I, I, we've got a new, now that I have Tassadar, I've got a new spell available called Hallucination, and I actually want to send I want to make some hallucinations of shuttles and send them out. Now, this is actually the way you're supposed to... 
actually, well, let me warp it in a simulator. Now, this is actually the way you're supposed to... By the way, hallucinations have a limited amount of time that they're available. And this is actually the way, if you want to win this mission in two minutes, how you do it. You send it along with some hallucinations. But what I want to do is I want to try and draw out these scourges. And there's like six or seven scourges that we can use. Okay, now let's get a cannon set up. Let's get some... Let's basically just get my defenses going. Let's have a couple zealots. There we go. And a shield battery. There we go. Oh, I need to make a couple more drones. Or probes. Drones. <laughs> okay. So yeah, so that other Scourge got taken out. So what you can do with Tassadar, actually, is you can preemptively try to take out some of these Scourges. So this is kind of an island over there. That's where the Scourges are. I'll see if I can show this off. Like, if you go over here with the shuttle, I believe... Yeah, see, there's a couple Scourges right there. So let's get it. Yeah, so we get some of the these Scourges taken out by these Shadows. Yeah, see, they're everywhere. So what you can do is, if you have a bit of downtime, you can, uh... If you have a bit of downtime, you can... I'm going to probably need four probes. Can you go up there, please? Thank you. Uh, you, can, you can start taking out their scourges, which is going to make life a lot easier for us going on uh, a little bit later. Like, and, and those scourges will not respawn. So it's actually not a bad idea to try and take them out. Plus, they can actually start to scout the map for you, which can be nice. So that can be just something to do periodically in this mission. Go. That's fine. Okay, that scourge. Thank you. Oh, I got two of them. Excellent. Nice. Alright, and I got some defenses set up. This is all good. Okay, now you, Mr. Probe, you're going to come up here. Now, what we want to do, what we kind of want to do is build our tech tree. Oh, I don't know. I need a cybernetic support. Let's get that going. If the game will let me. Thank you. Yeah, see, there's another base up there. Now, we want to try and take that base. But we need to establish some defenses. So... Let's do that. And that's just a yeah, don't worry about that. And let's get our ground units going. So we're gonna need a combination of ground and air units in order to win this mission. So we're gonna wanna we wanna get our air defenses going right away, along with some dragoons. All that kind of good stuff. Uh, you know what? I should probably get a cannon here, just in case. I don't think the enemy's gonna attack me from here, but couldn't hurt. All right, how's Tassadar doing? Yeah, I still don't have the energy there yet. So, okay. So my, pr uh, you know what? It wouldn't kill me to have a more drones. Zero. Nine. Okay, first thing we want to do is develop... Aha! I knew they were coming! I hear you. Yeah, go get him. Let's see if I can at least get a couple a little more damage in there. No, I can't. Shoot. Okay, no worries. No big deal. We were ready for the thing. Okay. Now, get some cannons going here. Okay, let's develop Secularity Charge. And eventually I'm going to get a full, pl full platoon of Dragoons. Actually, let's get these two let's get these, two, these Zealots up here. You move out of the way. There you go. So we want to establish some... Again, as I, as I mentioned, you want to establish some defenses. 
Okay, in case they invade, we're ready for them. Oh, I'd use Psionic Storm. That's right. I was like, why the heck is my thing low? That's right. I use Psionic Storm. That's right. Okay. Now, now that we're doing pretty good, we've got a bit of a dif some defenses established. I want to get a second base going as quickly as possible. Tassar even got a kill. Yes. All right. And we're building up some units here. That's good. Ah, uh, you know what? Can I get it now? Yes, I can. All right, let's do it. Go get him, Dragoons. There you go. Yeah, we're ready to go. Okay. Let's do this now. Stargate. Because we are going... Uh, you know what? Hold on. Scratch that. You stop. Where's my where's my drone? I just realized I got enough. Uh, let's see, right there, boom. Nexus. And now, in just a moment, I am tech treeing kind of quickly here, but that's okay. Okay, now I've got all my units ready to go, so now I can start to actually start pumping out some Dragoons, which you're going to need to do. Complete. And believe it or not, you're only going to want a few Dragoons, because the problem with Dragoons is that only two of them can go in a shuttle at one time. And in this particular mission, air is the way to go, but unfortunately I can't get my favorite air unit in the game just yet. I will eventually, but I can't just yet. But believe me, oh, believe me, I will. And when I do, it's going to be game over for the enemy. Okay, how are we doing? Tassadar, can we send some more? Yes, we can. All right, let's hallucinate my dropship. My shuttle, rather. Take out the rest of these scourges. Kind of monitor this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if I can get both of them. Nope. That's. Check out these ones, though. There we go. Yeah, alright. Excellent. Now, scouts. That's what we need, because aerial air is the way to go in this mission. Control 8, that. Scouts and Dragoons. Actually, really, it might be scouts and. I might actually end up going Archons. But in the meantime, let's get a second base going. And I may want to throw a couple more cannons up. In fact, I know I'm going to want to throw a couple more cannons up. In order to... Okay, did I... I'm going to control eight that. Because that ain't my gateway, yeah. Eight's my Stargate. Zero's my first Nexus. Yep, okay. Things are going well. Now let's get one more cannon. Oops. One more cannon, just in case. There we go. Yeah, and it might, it might end up being Templars. Or it might end up being Archons. Which, Archons are actually pretty badass. They're pretty great. Okay, how are we doing on... Yes, Executor. No, can't quite do that yet. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to control one, the Scout. Now, what is it? I believe you need Templar Archives to get to level two. So we're just, we'll get that, we'll get those eventually. Dang it. Put it at 275. Yep. Yeah, and this, and actually, these scouts, let me go over here. No, nope. you come here, Zealous. There we go. Now you peg those overlords when they come by. Because believe me, those overlords are coming. Good. There is a base I can take, I believe. 
Yeah, there is a base I can take, that little mini base right here. I can take it, but I'm gonna need some ground support in order to do that. Okay, I'm just gonna keep pumping out drones and start, and scouts. Tassadar, how you doing? I'm gonna do a little more scouting. One other thing about scouts. Now let's get the simulation we can use, yes. One other thing about scouts, or about hallucinations, is, is, is that if they try to attack the opponent, they'll end up doing just doing zero damage. There we go. And one more to take out that final scourge. Okay, it's Templar Archives. Do you need Templar Archives too? Oh, can I only go up to level one? Okay, that's fine. That assimilator's being warped in. So I'm gonna take out the scourge. Go. Excellent. All right. Now we'll be able to take a little. With 12 scouts, we'll be able to take out that base. I long for combat. They start getting some gas for me. Have, have they? I tell you, that's not gonna end well. Uh, you know, we need a shield battery. So BB shield battery. And then you. Oh, I need to sit all the dunes. One, good. And scout. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some Archons. I'll show you Archons in this mission because they're actually pretty badass. They're just really expensive. I mean, I normally don't use them, but they are pretty cool. And one more cannon for the record. And now you can go back to the Yeah, great shields, why not? Like I said, you're gonna want a full platoon of scouts. Might you know, might not be a bad idea to get some zealots in there too, to act as my ground force. In fact, you know what? Four zealots might be good enough. Yeah, because that base, what do they have there? I'm just looking. It's mostly spore colonies. Sorry, I'm just looking at my notes here. Yeah, I'm gonna need some scouts and. Some zealots to do it. Yeah, and I'm gonna start pumping out some zealots. Normally, I don't use zealots, but because this is such an aerial, you know, because it's an aerial mission. Uh, I want to, and again, the you can fit four zealots in a drop ship, but only one. Now I want to get a Templar Archives. Go get him! Let's see, if we can, let's see if we can take out some of that Overlord there. Thank you. Alright, yeah, that's it. Get four Zealots and that will help. Oh, I saw you, Overlords. I definitely saw you, Overlords. I'll try six scouts. Oh, some Hydralisks are there, eh? Hmm. Fortunately, the enemy's stupid. Cover and then I have two zealots. I have four zealots. Take out those hydralisks for me. I am aware, and it will not end well for them. Thank you. Up here, in case a disaster occurs. Excellent. I'll get my sixth scout. Oh, I need to get some 
pylons. Oh, crap. Sometimes I get a little excited and I forget to supply. And better get another one. I have Templar archives. Excellent. All right. All right, very good. Okay, I think I have enough to take out this center base. Let me just double check, uh, make sure I can do this, and I'll be right back. Plus, I've also been playing for a while. Okay, let's do this. All right, you come here. All right, let's grab my scouts. Now let's see if I can take this little base here. Okay, you want to try and clear a little path there. Good. Now, if I can just take down this one. When I'm taking down this one. There you go. Good. Now, you come unload these zealots. I should be okay. Now, what was my upgrade that was complete? No, it's that. Okay, ground weapons, level two. All right, let's see what we can do here. You just take out these small little things here. Let's get a scout. Right, let's see here. Yeah, they can just take out the small... They can take out the spore colonies. Ooh. Kind of a feeding frenzy here. Now you take out those overlords. Oh, jeez. Tassadar, please do your thing. Did you not kill him? No. Oh. Tassadar, finish him off. Oh, boy. Get out of there. Uh, let's get, a, let's get some more zealots there. Actually, you know what? Come on back. Grab a couple of dragoons. Alright, fine. Let's do it. Hopefully it'll be enough. Oh, nope. What are you doing? The enemy. There we go. All right, now are you there? Come here. And this is really all I'm gonna have time for today. Is to take this base, and then we're probably gonna have to call it a day. Oh no! Nope. You scourge, just get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! The scourges don't have a lot of of HP, so if you do it correctly. Like for example, we'll go out here. Yep. Alright, I'm just going to keep building scouts. Yeah, I'm going to be able to get another base today. That's excellent. Now you Take that out. And in the meantime, uh, why don't you come up Grab a probe. Alright. that out. Then I'll be able to take it out this base. Excellent. Now you go up here and you take out that scout. Or take out those scourges. Alright. There's a lot of moving parts in this. But we'll get it. Alright. Now you come over here. Load and then we could take another base. Yay! Terrific. And 
you, actually, I'm gonna make this my new staging point. How many scouts do I have? Seven. You're gonna want to have twelve. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Like I said, I'll start. I'll get another base started. Then I'll probably have to call it a day. And then we'll, because I believe me, I have much more of an assault, an assault to mount. We are under attack. Yeah, you wish. All right. And now let's get a nexus going. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Have they? Upgrade complete. Contact. All right. Ooh, I can even upgrade my ground weapons to level three. That's nice. Yeah. Weapons are always come. Weapons always come first. Okay. Now we need to establish our defenses. And I don't think they're going to attack us from very far, but we want to be ready. I'm going to need to construct some additional pylons. Have they? Oh, I've got some pylons coming, but... Alright, come on, pylons. You could... Pier, that would be great. Alright, you come over here. Let's get a cannon. And a shield battery. Another cannon. And then that area will be successfully defended. Woo! Now come over to this side, and we'll get a couple cannons on this side. And then my base will be defended. Yeah. And what's good about this is once this is done, which is this is almost done, I can send my probes up to this base and start to keep mineralizing up there. Mineralizing, I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. And I'm going to build a gateway here also. And I'm going to build an assimilator. This is what I, the one thing I love about the... Oh, nope. Build an assimilator. One thing that I love about the Protoss is that you can just... You can warp in a ton of stuff, and then we're good to go. So, Okay! Well, I think this is a good place... Oh, I see those scourges. Scourges didn't scan a chance to get to my scouts. Shield battery charging. All right. Well, like I said, I think this is going to be a good place to to stop. We've got some good stuff going on here. We've got three bases going, and we're in good shape. But can we defeat... Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on. Never mind. I am aware. Fine. Sorry, my scouts will take care of this. But, it just makes me realize that I need to get some cannons over here. Oh, jeez. Weak. I am aware. Let's get a couple cannons. And then you go up there. Okay. Never mind, scouts. Thank you. Okay, well, that was a little bit scary, but I have some defenses set up, and now we're in good shape. But can we get Tassadar and a couple of Zealots to the beacon over here? What other challenges will await us as we clearly have chosen sides? You have to wait the next time to find out. So then this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter, BCS Buster LP. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all. Vespian guys are depleted. That's no good. <laughs>